Would you like to save 365,000 naira before this year ends? Maybe even more. Maybe you'd like to save a million. I know you know. You know how frustrating savings can be sometimes. You begin saving 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. And the next day, you need an urgent 2K. What do you do? You remove the savings, telling yourself you start again later. And you know you never start. The tips I'll be sharing with you in this video works. Whether you have a low income, you have some debts, or you've tried several times in the past, or to no avail. After this break. Welcome back. Welcome to Common Sense Philosophy. I'm your host, Akim at DPC. And today we are discussing how to save your money wisely. First, I'd like to show you something. Let's go. You know, when I read this book, Secret of a Millionaire's Mind, it taught me about this six jar system, which really, really turned things around for me, especially with my savings. But this six jar system has one basic problem, which is that, as you can see, all of them are empty except this and this. Because they are easily accessible, you can take it, put whatever you need to put in, add the record. It's easy for you to also dip your hand in it, take it out, and use it for something else. So, I made a little more research, went to the market, and I got this, which I'm sure you are familiar with. So, this works for a lot of people, especially because they can't open it up and take the money out. But this doesn't work for a lot of people that, are, that were not trained with this when they were growing up. But there's an act that if you use with this thing, it works so much better, which is this paper. This paper is one of the tips which I, I'm talking about in this video, which I strongly encourage you to watch to the end, is on tip number five. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, when they hear you should use this or any of this, they begin to think like, oh, what if someone steal your money? What if your wife comes in and take money out of you? Yes, all these are genuine reasons. But the sole purpose of this is that when you have something like this or something like this, and you place it in somewhere that is very visible, somewhere very conspicuous, maybe in your living room, maybe in your office, maybe on your TV, somewhere you can see it. It reminds you every time you see it. I have a goal you are working towards. Just like Tony Robbins said. Clarity is power. The more clear you are about exactly what it is you want, the more your brain knows how to get there. Your brain is a servo mechanism. But when you decide what's most important to you, your brain goes after it. Second, you need to name your savings. Name it something. NFT savings, land savings, car saving. When we were being taught about how to save, how were you taught? You were taught to save for Christmas, to save for end of the year, to save for a, a particular bike you want to buy. When you have a goal and you know the reason why you are saving, it helps you save and be consistent on it. Third, never make a commitment you can't keep. Sometimes last year, a friend of mine introduced me to this contribution system. It was myself and five of his friends and we were to contribute 100,000 every month for six months. Who doesn't like an extra 600,000 to his account, you know? Boss. So you do a lot of things. How does contribution systems like this help you achieve your financial goals? Do they really work? Do they work for everyone? This and more is what we're discussing in part two of this video. Make sure you check it out right now. 